Hello everyone, how good of you to join. Welcome back to NO1800 to our glorious city. Oh, a balloon is out there. Weather must be nice today in this city. And yeah, people enjoy just the view of it, I guess. Now, what I totally forgot in the last episode, but of course we were quite busy, um, is that the World Fair is finally finished with Please construction. So we can now go ahead and build or finish this face here. And boom, there we have it to start the last phase um least phase five the infrastructure the waiting is nearly at an end the world's fair needs only electricity insulation and a few last minute touches to its majestic roof before the ribbon can be cut to a triumphant fanfare requires electricity and oh no filaments so we don't really have that many filaments at the moment also electricity is a bit of a problem there now let's just go ahead electricity there actually is something that i was planning anyway so let's connect the world further real quick with the main network this whole district up here doesn't have electricity yet right they have everything else no electricity and i would like to provide it to them now uh, we do have a couple of options available where we could have that power plant and the choice goes to this location here just by the police station. We do have a bit of space available still that I would like to use for that. Now, let's just check the power grid in general. This would take in the whole area up here, right? So there's the green area that we can see from the power plant that we have down there to the south. And this one here, by the way, still should have also a proper connection then with the road here and here so that we can extend the reach of it a tiny, tiny bit. Perfect. So that we can really reach all of these uh, blocks that here as well now one thing that we this don't reach with that is this side and this side here will then be um well covered by our techno by uh, power grid by having another power plant here that we do need to have here anyway for those guys there and for those guys here right so there we need it even if i build it as centrally as possible i could not reach those people there so i rather go with that one here and then another one over in in this Dangerous area there for for these people there and um and then we will probably will need a third one for this whole block then somewhere Life over there like to cover sheep. also the remaining um buildings there that we have towards the center should be fine should be fine also the cool thing about this one is that it does or it, that it is very close to the central train tracks that we have there already so it will be very easy to just implement this one let's go ahead and connect it with that there we still have then some street connections perfect and i think yep apart from that that's it let's build us the power plant this one it's working now in this area and it will now cover these people there so we can upgrade a whole bunch of them plus also it is covering now also the world fair very important on that um and for these people there how much oil do we really have we we are really covered with oil that's a good thing i don't want to run out of it though so we're just going to see how the oil power plant here is affecting us with the consumption um and then we probably let's just see we will have to need one here or actually here i think this will be the best location for it yes and it's also overlapping then with oh well with this one there a bit but it will cover all of these people then in this area and there we already have the network we could go through here this actually is looking good i think let's just see once again because i think here it will be quite easy for us to implement that that's looking good to me. I think all of them are being covered very good. So let's actually get rid of this building, of this building. We're going to make a opening here, right? So this is where the train goes through. Um, then we will need to get rid of this building there and perhaps we find a suitable location for these poor fellows. Otherwise, they are going to be homeless from now on. But there's really not that much space here anymore. I don't think that we have enough space for these guys unfortunately you people you need to go i'm going to delete though the artisan buildings there and i'm going to move the engineers over so we don't waste the more important people there there is also some workers here so we could move it over same goes with that and with that very good there we have the location for it let's build the power plant right here and as we can see then we have this whole just going out there and of course eh, there might be room for another nice little gate then here there you go righto 
and here it goes all the way then down and what we could also do here is or could will is we could have well some trees and stuff this like that let's have the white cherry trees in this location there otherwise it fits to the engineer buildings just fine and here we're definitely going to need though a connection here and here to also extend the network then to those areas as well and for these tiny spots we could have something to beautify the surrounding area oh wait a second this doesn't make that much sense let's actually have just some trees or something like that here and here beside the power plant and let's also put that one very good a couple more here what is going on with you worker there this is a worker um, let's actually get this one over there and let's get the engineer into that center there. Because that engineer doesn't need, um, any kind of school or something like that. That's working out fantastically. This is all now being covered. We still have a couple of spots here where we can have some ornaments as well. Right? My cherry trees. Um, and there we have a nice exit there from the hospital. So we might just use this area for a fountain. A big fountain. There you go, where people from the hospital can exit, right? There we have a street going right into the fountain. There's a nice little back courtyard of the hospital. And here also lots of districts or lots of buildings still without any ornaments. Where we could, for example, in this case here, add some elm trees to it. And there's a pub. By the way, this pub here, we probably don't need that much longer. We still have those workers there that need a school. So we could have a school outside here. Right a bit further outside to also reach those poor farmers there. They don't have their market coverage. And a street is not doing that much for it. So I will just have a market here for now. Just temporarily until we have artisans in this area then too. And here we can continue then with some normal streets. Very good. And after a quick second, we can now upgrade all of these workers here to artisans. There you go. And those farmers here to workers as well. That also means that I no longer need now the pub here and the marketplace because these buildings are not required by artisans. And boom, we have a bit of space there right here in the center where I could add something later on. My worker workforce, meanwhile, is not looking so great. We do have some rides out here right now. Um, that is, of course, reducing the workforce power that I have. Let's just build a police station there. And I will also need to upgrade a few more farmers though. And these occasional attacks, of course, are usually just from ships passing by. Oh, yeah, harbor is under attack. That is a different cup of tea. Yeah, here we have once again a battleship, unfortunately. So that's Benta's stuff. And speaking about Benta, let's just check this one. Yes, let's purchase the next share. We need to hurt her because she wants to hurt us. I do, by the way, have two peers in Auspicious Isle now because um, waiting for goods, of course, is, you know, delaying the amount of traders here. This one has now everything. It should get away then. And then the cigar comes in with a bit of chocolate there as well. Now we, by the way, have 400 tons of cigars now in I Crown Falls, finally, so I can and now enable cigars as the next product for my investors, leading us to only champagne and chocolate that would be Ship missing now. Alright, there's more ships on that side, but that these are just passing by and let's make sure that we have passive defense activated. Now, another thing that I need to do is the expedition of the Land of Lions has started, really, with the first events. So, once again, we can now decide where we want to go. Whenever you visit a port, new ports will become available. You can also attempt to visit every single port. Um, Olispo or Al Suk we have right now. Let's go to Olispo. And a streetcar named Olispo. The lights of Olispo glimmer through the spray of your sailors hasten to secure their mooring. Music and merriment spills. Um, and we hail from Il Campanile. At least that has a bit of a chance here. And ma maravilloso. I have kinder, wonderful people and hard working to a fault. Come, we must drink. Try the pasties, the nata, our sweet secret custardy pride. And of course, our famous port. And order a generous round of port. Oh. We can use our schnapps for that. Not worth the time. 
he would offer us something. Some beer, some sausage, some goulash. Let's just try it with the schnapps alone. That should bring us actually some success there. And the innkeeper navigates the thronged room expertly. Perfect. And we can continue our journey to the ancient labyrinth or the crocodile delta. Let's go to the labyrinth. Sounds less wet to me. And another newspaper. We still don't have that much influence. I would definitely like to go with a bit of happiness though. As that is pretty important. Now, I would also like to prepare my next productions. That would be the gold watches and the jewelry. We already have some gold watches sometimes available, but we don't have a jewelry at all. So gold it is. We have two gold deposits only in Tristau, unfortunately. So not that much. Let's get the first one going up here. They're really cheap. That's a fortunate thing. Um, they do, however, cost me some obreros as well. That is, though, once again, very expensive, right? So cheap-wise for building materials, very expensive when it comes to um, worker workforce and stuff like that. So two gold mines that we have over here. A gold mine produces very, very slowly. So only every 2.5 minutes it produces gold. Makes it one of the slowest productions I think there is in the game. Let's go ahead and have some more gold up there. I think we could... Yeah, we can afford all of them here, right? It's just a lot of workforce, really, that's going missing here, as we can see. There should be a fourth one somewhere available on this island. Up here it is. Perfect. This one. So that is the gold that we have. And the other thing is the jewelry. And for that, we do need the pearl farms. I do need, by my calculations, around 10 to 12 um, pearl farms to have... To not only meet the current demand but also to prepare a bit for the future demand so let's go ahead and have over here in auspicious isle where we have the pearl abundance by basically the only um island by the way where we have some pearl abundance and i could go ahead here now and uh, get cracking on my pearl the cool thing is some for some reasons look at that it works like so right it's already partly on the beach yet it is working fantastically fine and I'm pretty sure that we can hopefully squeeze in something here as well. Or we make it like that. I think this is better. Yes, totally. Because they really are happy with a lot of beach area in their, in their area of influence as we can see here. Making this one a bit easier. A bit on the easy side for me. Let's have a road that goes then right to a warehouse over here that we will need of course to upgrade. There we have that. And I probably can do the same thing over here then. They should be able to overlap each other. Eh, not completely. Making this one a bit more tricky. I think we will have to work like so. And then here. Nope. This unfortunately is not working. Alright, having like 14 now working here. That should be golden for quite some time. And I'm pretty confident that this will also be enough for, for the future. Let's just see that we can build all of them. Let's build those six here first. And as we can see, this is why the harbor area cannot overlap for these guys here. It's just they do need that space for themselves. And let's have some six more over there. I would like to go ahead and upgrade my warehouse there. For the other upgrade, I do need a bit more timber. Alright, so it's really just about... a couple of tons of timber there we do have lots of ships though there is also some weapons and steel beams coming in again let's take the timber that we have in Tristau and let's take more of that and let's get all of this over and also some weapons by the way to auspicious isles over there we can start protecting this island here too so that's that the only thing we now need is once again some trade routes on that i'm going to have well we do have the question do we want to split it up or do we want to use it uh, both goods for one trade route only the cool thing is we could purchase pearls as well at isabel samentus harbor and since that is not really necessary. Let's actually use one trade route for both of them because the volume is just not very high. We are going from Auspicious Isle to... Hmm, basically, do we have a trade route that goes between them? I think not. All right, so for the bit of gold that we produce in Tristau, I will need to make a stop, though, in Tristau, right? So we're going from Auspicious Isle to Tristau and then over to Crown Falls and then back again home. Um, and, of course, waypoints, very important here. In Auspicious Isle, we are going to take the gold times two. Then we're going to take the pearls times three. And then... In Tristau, we're going to take one gold with us. And all of that is being unloaded then in Crown Falls. 
Righto, and I probably only want to wait in Auspicious Isle. We don't want to wait in Stristau for the bit of gold that we have there. And we're only going to use cargo ships in this trade route here, since this makes totally sense, as cargo ships are just the way to go for now. Madagoose is waiting in the harbor area of Crown Falls, and Madagoose is on its way. Let's move this one to the New World trade route as well. And the pearls and the gold should be flowing now. Now, of course, there will oh, yeah, never be days. enough uh, gold, really, right? It's just these couple of gold mines are not producing a lot. And by the way, with the additional farms that we have now, we are lacking a bit of Condaleros. So I will need to... I will need to expand the city a bit into this direction here too. We have a fire station there that I don't necessarily need so centrally. So let's go ahead and have the next marketplace then here somewhere. First, let's build those houses. Let's use the clay pit as a neighbor. It's a, it's a park for the children, right? So our clay pit. And then we continue with another main road. And then I'll probably just go ahead and have some more uh, blocks here that I can add. And then here we can have our next marketplace with these guys here. And then we already come together here with this district where we need to be a bit careful because of the lumberjack hut that we have there. And actually we have enough bricks so I could basically just continue building my brick roads only. And that's that. And let's build all of them at once. Perfect. There you go. And this should, uh, well, solve the problem that we have there. And by the way, as usual, while we're here, let's also just add us a few more ornaments then. And I always forget to deactivate my blueprint mode there. It's a bit annoying there with the palm trees if I need to build them twice. Because the first time it's just blueprinted. There we have them. Looks good so far. I think over here we could still add a few more. And then, of course, also some more fountains in the courtyards that we have over there. Upgrade-wise, we could upgrade, but I'm not doing that at the moment because of workforce reasons. And I think now my building materials have arrived. Perfect. Let's just get this one over here and build the warehouse. But as we can see here, they're not really overworking, right? Because pearl farms are not producing that quickly that fast and we don't have that many as well so this is just working perfectly fine um and that's definitely going to be enough pearls for quite some time you don't have oh my goodness are you real because of one tiny spot you don't have the connection now this is a bit of a problem i can't move them further down i can't nope so off you go here and i will need to build one of these instead make up for it. Ah, let's just nah. Yeah, let's just put this one there as well, so that we have this one finished. Now, finally, also here, electricity is flowing, so we can now upgrade the next batch of investors and upgrading I should be doing. I We are out of influence, so it is a good thing that we can continue with the upgrading. And let's just go ahead with this whole bunch there. Boom, 80 influence incoming again. Let's also have these guys here upgrade, and I think that's the end of it. Yes, because we are out of reinforced concrete once again. I would definitely also like to upgrade these blocks then here as well sooner than later. Lots of influence. Very very good i like to see that um those people are getting in here now with the coffee the steam carriages right away champagne is still the missing thing um and as we can see here the jewelry would be very nice to have now oh by the way yes a members club the good thing is we have a school here let's move the school up there and boom we have a bit of space there once again for a member club that we can then just add into this whole area there this should work out we still have some ornaments here how very annoying these ornaments and then this one is working. Surrounded by investors, these guys here will be quite used. Oh yeah, it's using the whole district then up there as well. By the way, by the way, we do have... Do we have a bank up here in the north? There it is. Yes, we do have a bank. All right, so this should be fine. Now also a Land of Lions expedition. The next step is required the ancient labyrinth. Oh, what is that? Alone in the darkness, they cannot hear her cries. A majestic horned door faces north, while a more humble passage heads southward. What do we want to do? The humble passage or the grand horned door? Let's go with this. Sounds more exciting 
And a large door with a familiar pattern opens to the south. A second smaller door to the west. Um, had west. And you push the broken door open and you almost stepped on one of these traps. Advance stealthily. Stomp the ground. Let's go stealthily. And a more patient person might have navigated the serpent weave successfully. It rears its head angrily, bearing long fangs. Leap backward or crush it. Let's leap backward. My goodness, we barely have lost any morale so far. How very lucky because there's no, no bonuses here. Two staircases lie ahead of you. Head east or descend. Let's descend deeper. And a gaping chasm stares up at you where the floor has collapsed. All right, keep your back straight or crouch. Let's crouch. Ship under you kneel down on the edge of the beam and crawl painfully across its dark, narrow surface. Um, just not wood, but we make it out. Open the door. Is this ever ending here? Darkness there and nothing more. One match left. Advance without the light or strike your last match. Let's advance without the light. Ship under you treat a pre 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 Precacious path across the room. A growling, thunderous, and ominous surges into your ears and faces. Um, strike your last match. <laughs> oh, we find something. A bullhead writhen or written for the museum. At least that is something. Let's accept it. And I guess we can head on now. Yeah, we can continue with my journey. To the Kulisma Canal. This would be Anvesa now. And with that, holy cow, that was a labyrinth and we actually got a reward without these lucky decisions there. So far so good, stay tuned.